Uh, one day a friend of mine tells me, you know, between all these women, there is your friend Anne Frank. So I had no choice to go also near this barbed wire. This was not allowed. And the German in the watchtower was watching us. And, you know, he would have shot if he would have ca caught us. But um, so we couldn't see. I told you there were a barbed wire with straw and we couldn't see the other side. So I just went near at dark and I went start to call, hello, hello, something like this. And who answered me was Mrs. Van Pels. Immediately she said to me, you want Anne? And I said, yes. And she says, you know, I will call her for you. Margot, I can't call for you. She's very sick already, but Anna, I will call for you. And so I was standing there in the cold and I was waiting. And then suddenly uh, I heard somebody calling me and it was Anna. And this was awful. We, we, first thing we both were starting to cry. And then she said she had nobody anymore. And this was not right, and I am so very sorry, because she said my mother is dead, and her mother really was dead at that moment, but she couldn't know. She was sure her mother was killed the moment she left, but her mother came out later, was not killed, she just died of exhaustion in the beginning of January. Her sister, she knew, was very, very sick already, but now her father. If she had known her father is still alive after her sister died, she just was without any hope. 